What's up YouTube? In today's video, we're going over the top five investments that will make you rich. Now they won't make you rich overnight and they will not replace your income straight away, but these are things that you can use instead of a savings account that will leave you with a very healthy retirement fund. Coming up. Welcome back guys. Now before we actually get into the top five investments, I'd like to say that this video took me way longer than any other video that I've made. So I'd appreciate it massively if you dropped a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. Another thing that I'd like to mention is we have started the trading community, which is a community of traders learning how to trade or already professional traders uh, that are making money through the financial markets uh, where we share ideas ideas and just give each other advice, just tr learn how to trade together or better our trading journey together. Um, so if you do want to be a part of the community, join the groups. I'll leave a link to the Facebook group and the Telegram group in the description below and I'd love to see you there. Now the investments that I'm going to talk to you guys about today is based off of instead of having a savings account, putting money into these investments instead um, every week or every month um, and compounding that by 10 to 12%. So just as an example, if you started with 500 pounds and you put 100 pounds a week into any of these investments, uh, if you made 10% returns over... Um, over a period of 30 years, you would actually end up with over 860,000 uh, pounds by the end of the 30 years. Now, if we compounded this by 12% per year, you'd actually end up with over 1.2 million pounds within the next 30 years. Um, and for most of us, I mean, me personally, I'm 24 years old. Uh, the average person that watches this channel is around 25. Um, so for us, this means that by the time we hit 60 years of age, we will be, we will be able to retire millionaires, right? So let's get right into the video. Coming in at number five, is peer-to-peer -peer lending. Now essentially what this is, there are companies out there that will lend to property investors or businesses um, and the way that they lend to those businesses is by borrowing your money. So essentially you're lending your money to a company, they will lend it to a business or a property investor, they will make a high interest rate on that loan and then they will pay you back an interest rate also for borrowing your money. Okay, now the average peer-to-peer -peer lending company will only give you around 5% per year, but there are companies that will offer you up to 12% per year. So we can still achieve this 1.2 million uh, using that 12% per year over 30 years. I'll post some examples over here. So you can see that there are companies out there that will offer you up to 12%. Coming in at number four is dividend paying stocks. Now, when you buy some stocks, they will actually give you a dividend, uh, which is just a percentage return on your investment for holding that stock, allowing the company to use your money to build their company, essentially. They will actually pay you in dividends um, and you can get up to 12%, 14%. Um, in fact, I've got a list over here of the top 10 from Yahoo Finance. Number one being AT&T, at only 7%, but the reason why is because it's a much safer investment. So if you are looking for something that's giving you a high dividend, uh, like AT&T as an example, 7% per annum, um, you can also expect the price of that stock to increase, which will uh, increase your annual returns. Uh, but of, of course, make sure you do your own research when choosing a stock that is paying you a dividend. Um, and of course, there are so many stocks out there um, and it can fluctuate in price. So a high paying dividend stock might actually be a little bit more risky because the price of the stock might go down in value. So even though you get a high return on your investment, your investment might not be as big by the end of it. So make sure you take this into consideration when looking for stocks. Um, and that is why I've put this at number four. Coming in at number three is index funds. Now, just looking at an index fund like the S&P 500, we can see that over the last 10 years, this has averaged over 14% per year. Now the reason why I put this at number three, even though it has a very high uh, return on investment at the moment, 
we are at all time highs. So there is a big, big chance that there's a big correction coming, meaning that if you invest right now, you could lose some money short term, but overall it should be a fairly safe investment. And the reason why is because index funds are essentially just a, a group of stocks all combined into one thing. Uh, so even if some stocks aren't performing very well, it's very likely that other stocks will outperform uh, those stocks, meaning that the price is going to gradually increase over time. There are lots more index funds that you can actually take advantage of as well. Um, obviously, again, do your research before investing into anything. But here's a list of some index funds that over the last five years have returned at least 14% uh, or more every single year. Coming in at number two is investing in property. Now there are so many ways that you can invest in property. I'm not going to be talking about uh, buying a property, refurbing it, flipping it or uh, pulling your cash out by taking out a mortgage or anything like that. I want to try and uh, try and make this as simple as possible and just talk about buying a house and renting it out. Okay. So as an example, if you were to buy a property for a hundred thousand pounds and you just rented it out exactly how it was and you rented that property for £1,000, you will actually make a 12% return on your investment year after year. Now, another beautiful thing about property is that the prices of properties have it been increasing in the UK by over 4% a year every single year. So there are some years where, of course, it does take a, a small dip. And of course, there's years where it, it exceeds that 4%. But on average, the market climbs by around 4% per year so not only will you be making money by renting that property but hopefully you, your asset will actually appreciate in value at the same time. Now if you do not have the money to invest into property straight away you can actually invest bit by bit by investing into something called REITs. Now REITs are essentially real estate investment trusts um, and it's it essentially allows you to put small amounts of money into a company that is buying up property um, and you can essentially receive a percentage return on your investment because of that. Now, as you can see, I'll put on the screen up here, as you can see, the average dividend yield paid by stocks uh, is 1.9%. The average equity uh, REIT uh, pays about 5% and the average mortgage REIT uh, pays around 10%. Now the only difference with a mortgage REIT and equity REIT is that a mortgage REIT will utilize mortgages to get higher returns which is why you can get a higher percentage um, on your money but it is a little bit more risky. Um, again, it is one. It is a very good way to get involved in property if you don't have enough to just go and buy a property straight away. Coming in at number one is staking cryptocurrencies. Now, the reason why this is at number one is because it's super, super simple. Uh, there can essentially be no risk involved if you're using stable coins um, and you can get massive returns by staking crypto. Now, in today's video, I'm only going to talk about USDC and true GBP because these uh, currencies are essentially uh, stuck to the same price as the USD um, or true GBP is is always going to be at the same price as the Great British Pound. Now you can stake these and get a massive 14% on your investment if you're staking £30,000 or more of CRO or if you're staking £3,000 like myself you can get 12% per year um, or if you're staking £300 or less you can still get 10% per year on your investment and this is extremely easy to do you literally just put your money in there instead of putting your money into a savings account which is earning you one percent per year you can literally make 12 percent per year and because the price of the currency doesn't fluctuate like bitcoin ethereum or any other cryptocurrency uh you can be sure that you're if you put in ten thousand pounds you're earning one thousand two hundred per year right so whatever you put into this uh you will receive in return the exact same equivalent of GBP or the exact same equivalent of USD. So that's why it comes in at number one. 
Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos just like this one. I hope to see you all in the next video. See you all soon.